Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone had a nice day. Um, today's video is a very special video for me to do. Um, it's regarding something I've been waiting for for a little, it was a little over a year now that I first announced, uh, I think it was back in, I'm going to say late April, early May of last year that I had found out that they were making a brand new Friday the 13th documentary. Um, that was going to be more in the name, in the vein of um, Never Sleep Again, the Elm Street Legacy. Because, of course, in 2009, right before the reboot came out, we got, his name was Jason. Um, this documentary um, was a fun little documentary um, on the Friday the 13th series. It came off as more of a PR piece, um, I think, to promote the new uh, Friday the 13th movie that was coming out. Everything was kind of sporadic in this. There was no real organization in terms of how the clips were shown and what actors were speaking to actors, directors, producers, etc. They had a lot of special like cameos by people in this. People like Adam Green, Joe Lynch. You also had um, uh, people like um, the guy from Psych, which I've never really watched the show, but people that weren't associated with the films that were more fans of the films were the ones that were speaking primarily in this, even though you did on the second disc have the individual interviews, like the ones with all the actors that had played Jason, which I really love. And I still really had a good time with this, um, but after Never Sleep Again came out, um, a lot of people felt gypped by this movie. I think even when this movie came out, or this documentary came out, a lot of people wanted it to be more informative, to be more organized, to focus on one film after the other instead of having everything kind of clumped together. And the same people that made this film and Never Sleep Again decided to give the fans just that. So as a Friday the 13th fan, I think it's great that we not only have one documentary, but now we have two. And... Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. I got this on Saturday. I pre-ordered it back at the beginning of July when you were first able to pre-order it. So with that pre-order came a second disc. Now the documentary is nearly, I think, seven hours long. And I did watch it. <clears throat> but this extra disc is another four hours long, and it's all extended interviews that they did not include in the um, main film. So what I'm going to do now is talk about what I thought about Crystal Lake Memories, and I hope everyone enjoys this, and please stay tuned. So to start off, I'll show inside the case. The cover is great. Um, I have a poster up there that is exactly like the cover of the book, and as you can see, it's the same picture here, but Jason's slicing through it. It says Crystal Lake Memories, Complete History of Friday the 13th back it's got some pictures it's like it's Jason and Jason goes to hell you got Tom Savini with the actor that played Axel along with the fake head that they had to do the stunt you got Jason from the remake or the reboot you got Eddie from part five and then you have uh, Adrian King with Mrs. Voorhees head And to open it up, inside you have it's four discs. So that's disc number one, Blu ray, disc two, and then this is the DVD. I haven't figured out how to put the extra disc in there, so I've just been kind of leaving it out his own, but this is the bonus disc. And the movie was produced by Tommy Hudson and written and directed by Daniel Ferens, and it also features original music by uh, the awesome composer Harry Manfredini. So I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, Crystal Lake Memories is a fucking masterpiece. If you're a Friday the 13th fan, you owe it to yourself to pick up this this documentary. It is everything and the kitchen sink. I mean, there is no stone left unturned in this documentary. There are a few people that didn't participate. Uh, one of the main ones being Steve Miner, who directed Part 2 and Part 3 and worked on uh, Part 1 as well. Um, unfortunately, he's not in this documentary, um, which is unfortunate. Um, other participants that, you know, I would have liked to see, you know, be a part of it were like Crispin Glover, Kevin Bacon. Um, unfortunately, neither of them were. But other than that, they did a phenomenal job. This is a thousand times better than His Name Was Jason, even though I still really enjoy that documentary. 
but this is more in the vein of Never Sleep Again, the Elm Street Legacy. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I will point out to people that are interested in picking up this documentary, there are some of the interviews that were conducted for His Name with, J with Jason are in um, There was so some that it was just stuff that wasn't used in the previous documentary or it's put to better use in this documentary. But they did conduct new interviews with a lot of the actors, uh, one of them being Corey Feldman, who actually narrates the entire movie. And also taking part in the discussions of the final chapter, which he starred in as Tommy, and also uh, part five. Um, but the, one of the interviews that I was really excited to see was Mel Ken Melanie Kinneman, who played uh, Pam in part five, and it did not disappoint. It was amazing to see her talk about that role. And also to get some new insight into what Danny Steinman was like as a director. It was pretty shocking stuff. Along with Melanie Kinnaman, you also had new interviews with Kimberly Beck, who played Trish, Susan Blue, who played uh, Mrs. Shepard. Uh, V.C. Dupree, who played Julius in Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Aaron Gray, who played Diana in uh, Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, two of the highlights for me were Carol Lockatell as Ethel Hubbard and Ron Sloan as Junior Hubbard. You also had Dana Kamel as Chris Higgins from uh, Friday the 13th Part 3, and Jennifer Cook, who played Megan Garris in Friday the 13th Part 6, which is one that a lot of people have been waiting for. I mean, this, this thing is just jam-packed with everything you ever wanted to know about these movies, about the television series. Um, it's just, there's nothing bad you can say about this. They did a phenomenal job, and I'm so happy I have this documentary. And for a seven-hour documentary, it goes by very fast. And it was just so great to see and hear all of these stories. And, you know, a lot of, like I said, there are some interviews that were carried over from the His Name Was Jason documentary, but they do them so well that a lot of them, a lot of them was extended footage and a lot of stuff I hadn't seen before. So if you are a Friday the 13th fan, definitely pick this one up. It's I'm going to give it an 11 out of 10. I mean, it is just a phenomenal documentary. Next to the Psycho Legacy, they are my favorite uh, documentaries on two. Well, they're my two favorite horror series of all time, but I absolutely fucking love Crystal Lake Memories. And like I said, it's definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of this series. So that is my review of Crystal Lake Memories. I hope everyone enjoyed this review, and I hope everyone goes out and supports this amazing, amazing documentary and picks up a copy. You can buy it directly from the distributor, which is 1428 Films. I will put the link down below so you guys can um, check it and, out. And uh, another note, um, when they were first doing this documentary, they were asking fans to submit photos of them dressed as Jason during the 80s because there was going to be a segment where they were going to show people dressed in... You know, like kids dressed as Jason during the 80s. It had to be from the 80s um, when the phenomenon was really just taking off. So I did submit a picture of me dressed as Jason when I was 12. Um, and there is a segment in the film where they show kids dressed as Halloween. And unfortunately, and on Halloween as Jason, and unfortunately they didn't use my picture, which is a little disappointing. It was the only disappointment I had from this, but like I said, it's still a phenomenal documentary. It's just... I was hoping that I would see myself in the movie, but uh, what I'll do is at the end of this video, I will show the picture that I submitted and uh, let you guys check out what I had submitted to them. But uh, 
yeah, I mean, would have been cool to see me on this, but hey, you know, at least I tried. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for now. And, stay tuned uh, for my stay review tuned. of the Blu-ray um, box set of all 12 films, which will be coming up tomorrow. I was going to do it tonight, but I just don't have the time. But I will be doing that tomorrow. And I hope everyone has a nice evening. Thanks a lot.